For the past four years, I've been using a Sony A6000 to record most of my sit down videos and some of the bureaus that you see on this channel. But I had an issue. Getting access to Sony accessories has been a difficult thing for me, especially in Ghana here. And most of them that you would easily have access to were so expensive. So I decided to switch to a camera brand that would give me more flexibility when it comes to its accessories. After a few researches and advices from my friends like Delpi, Theolabi and Okat, I decided to finally switch to Canon and to be precise, I got the Canon EOS R50. In this video, we are going to go for a camera and we are going to unbox it alongside a microphone that has been eyeing for so long. So let's get into the video. Many of my colleagues in the industry have been using the Canon brand which they've been recommending to me for so long. And I can see some of the quality from my friends like Dolpy from Theo, they will all shoot on Canon. So when they advised me to get it, I didn't really hesitate. Now it was time for me to get it and where to get it. Dolpy recommended that I go to GoPixelar, an online camera and accessory shop here in Ghana. And I checked the website out and it was a great way to go. Their services was easy. I just had to check the camera that I wanted add it to my cart and you could either pay it online or if you call them you can also pay directly via momo paying via momo was easy for me so i just sent the money to them and they delivered it to me from Accra to kumase all right guys so i was sleeping and i just had a call that the parcel has arrived in kumase so i just need to go for it at a 2 m express um, bus station at asafo so i'm just quickly going to i i do I look sleepy? Ah, God. But I'm just quickly going to rush to town to get a parcel. And then we are going to unbox it together. Let's go. Oh, my God. I'm just playing with them now, yeah. Oh, my God. What she saying? Say it loud, yeah. I'm in the gym, but I am not flexing Came from a Ford, I'm needing a Lexus Shooting like Luca, I told him I'm next, shit Oh my God, I'm just playing with him now, yeah Oh my God, what she saying, say it loud, yeah I can't respect it, I'm in the gym, but I am not flexing Came from a Ford, I'm needing a Lexus Shooting like Luca, I told him I'm next, shit I got a ball, I told them I'm here, I'm not waiting for y'all They hit my phone, but I ignore the car I got a drive and I see that they star I bought a whip and I paid it in cash Numbers keep growing like what's on the dash Drive me to Addy, I pull it the maps Dressed in a white tee, I bought it again the... Alright, now so the delivery is here Let's go ahead and unbox this And see what we have in the package So I didn't only get the camera I got the Rode Dynamic Pod Mic as well Because I've been using this microphone that I'm recording in for so long those who have been on the channel for very long would know that we started using this around 2020 as well so i decided to upgrade to a more professional microphone and i went for the Rode dynamic pod mic the mic was packaged very neatly and very simple although i got a little bit disappointed i thought it was going to come with a microphone stand as i see it on the box but unfortunately it was only the mic that came so i have to be using my current mi microphone stand for the meantime until i'm able to upgrade to a much better one inside the bus is very simple just a mic and nothing else so i'll be testing this microphone out coming very soon and i would probably compare it to this microphone that i'm currently using and you guys are going to be the judge that video is coming up very soon subscribe so that you don't miss it out so next up the canon eos r50 only god knows the number of reviews i've watched on this particular camera because I've literally been using Sony all this while and I have no idea how to operate a Canon camera so when I decided to go for it, I had to really watch a lot of tutorials and take a lot of advices. But first off, let's take a look at what we have inside the box. So inside the box, you are going to have, of course, the manual, some straps that you are going to use to hold the camera, it came with a battery and then a charger and then some cables, I believe that is what you are going to connect it to the charger so that you can charge the battery and then of course the kit lens which is an 18 to 45 millimeter lens that comes with this when you buy it and finally the camera itself all in its glory the canon eos r50 as you say all the reviews that i watched were so through the camera is very lightweighted and 
even when you put on the lens it is very simple very lightweight and i now understand why people were recommending it for vlogs because if you are holding this for vlogs i'm not sure you are going to feel even tired as compared to the a6000 that i was using when you put on a battery and then a lens it feels more heavier than when you've put on a battery and a lens on this canon r50 the build the simplicity the light weighted these are all things that i'm really already loving about the camera now when the camera got here the battery was totally dead so i had to charge it for a couple of hours and all the reviews that i watched indicated that you do so so if you are getting this camera when it arrives you need to charge the battery very well before you put it on setting it up was very easy i just had to set my language the date the time and that was basically it now one of the few reasons why i also got this was i'm a solo shooter so when i was operating from the sony camera i literally had to set the camera position myself and then see if i'm in frame or not but with this canon r50 i'm going to have access to the flip screen which means that shooting solo is going to be so very easy and i'm going to be able to shoot a lot of sit down videos with less stress so i quickly set up the camera and then i took a couple of test shots from the kit lens this is not any premium lens just the kit lens that comes with this the 18 to 45 millimeter so i took a couple of pictures and this video as well And all that I can say is that I'm already loving this camera. With this kit lens and it's giving me this quality, then we have a long way to go. For the meantime, I'm going to be shooting from this kit lens and later in the future, I'm going to try to get different types of lenses so that I can try it out with. As like I said earlier, that is one of the main reasons why I got this camera because getting access to its lenses and its accessories here in Ghana is way simpler than Sony. So my first impression, I think this camera is awesome with its lightweight, the flip screen, quality that I'm getting even from the kit lens. And one of the features that I'm going to love about this is the ability to connect it to your phone via the Canon Camera Connect app. I think this is going to be a great camera for me. And if you're looking out to pick up a very simple camera on a very tight budget, you can go for this Canon R50 as well. In the next coming days, I'm going to test this out fully. I'm going to really take my time to go through it because as I speak to you now, I've been shooting on Sony, so I'm very well familiarized with Sony, not so much with Canon. So I'm going to take my time to go through this and bring you a full review of this camera. So why don't you subscribe so that you don't miss it out when I bring it to you. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video, a simple unboxing and first impressions about this Canon R50 and the Rode Dynamic Port Mic. I'm going to test all the all of them out i'm going to compare the pod mic to this basic microphone that i'm using and you are going to be the judge over that one as well so what i thought about this camera do you think it is a great pick for me and if you're a canon shooter and you have any tips and strategies for me on how to get the best out of the canon cameras especially the r50 kindly leave it in the comment section and i would really be grateful as a person coming from the sony camera that would generally be it for this video thank you so much for sticking around to watch this don't forget to like and subscribe so that all the upcoming videos you won't miss it out thanks so much for sticking around and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye